Do you find financial planning boring? Well, the reality of life is that we all need money to survive. So we're here today with Roger Gordon, who's gonna show us some ways of creating wealth and hanging on to it. This is Roger Gordon's office. So let's go in and learn about money. Hi Rog, how are you going? Hey Lisa, nice to see you. Thanks, like to take a seat. Okay, Rog, so in terms of wealth creation, can you explain to us some of the ways that you actually can create wealth? Well, firstly, Lisa, they need to have a plan and a strategy where they're going. You know, have a savings plan, maybe release some equity from a house, invest in a range of funds that are going to give income or growth or a mixture of both. So that's really what you need to do. Okay, so in terms of the types of investments, um, what actually is available to people? Well, there's lots. There's a straight income funds, there's bonds, there's managed share funds, managed uh, property funds, there's direct shares, direct properties, a whole range, even some hybrids and that sort of thing that are going to give you a mixture, some of them all income, some of them a little bit of income and, and a lot more growth and some in the middle of the road. So quite a wide range of things. So in terms of investments, why is it that people actually believe that real estate is one of the safest investments to have? Well, it's tangible. Um, we all live in a house. We either rent one or we own one. We've had one with mum and dad. We can drive past it, you know, we can wave to the neighbours if we want to. And so we understand it. Whereas if you talk about shares, people don't really understand. They don't have the link. Like for argument's sake, if you own Commonwealth Bank shares, every time you pa drive past a Commonwealth Bank, you own part of that bank, but people don't see that link. So it's, it's a safety mechanism and um, that's what it is mainly. All right, so you've explained to us how to actually create the wealth. When we've actually created it, how do we hang on to it? Firstly, people need to have a plan. They need to work out what they want to achieve. And then when they've got that plan in place, they need to monitor it, to check it, to, to make sure that the goals haven't changed, that something hasn't come along, that you need to re readjust, that what you've got in place is actually really working. It's a, having a review, having a checkup. That's what you really need to do. Okay. So, speaking for myself, yep. um, if I was wanting to put a financial plan together, what would I need to do first? Well, firstly, we would need you to fill out one of these client confidential um, data forms. What that does is that tells us what, um, what makes you tick financially. So it tells us, you know, what your goals are, what you want to achieve, whether you want, um, you know, what you, what you want to have, whether you want a new car or an overseas holiday, plan for the children's education, whatever. And from there, what we would do, look at your risks, what, how we you wanted to go, whether you wanted income, whether you wanted capital growth, whether you wanted a mixture of both. And then we would put a design just for you because it's important what is important for you. It doesn't matter whatever, what I need, it's okay. what you try to do and that's what we try to do is achieve what, what you're looking to achieve. Now you talked about income funds and capital growth funds. Can you explain the difference between the two? Well, yes, I, I guess the easiest way to explain it, Lisa, is by saying, talking about shares. We understand that you get dividends, they usually pay twice a year. That's the income side of it. The other side is the, is the capital growth, is the, is the actual price of the share itself. You buy a share for a dollar, it goes up to a dollar twenty in value, at 20 cents is the capital growth. So the dividends twice a year is the income, the movement and the share price is the growth factor. Well, thanks for having me along today, Rog. That's fine, Lisa. I'll take my data collect with me, get it filled out and bring it back to you. Good, look forward to seeing you back. Thank you. So, not so boring now. Gotta get my data collect filled out and get that new car on the way.